Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm very excited because we are talking about a brand new powder compact foundation from Dior. This is the Forever Natural Matte Foundation. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. As you know, I have my online beauty consulting service. This is a one-on-one -on -one video chat with me where you get to talk to me about your makeup questions. So if you're in the market for a new foundation, but you're not sure what works best for you, go ahead and book a session today. Okay, so this foundation here, what we're going to do is a product breakdown, demonstration, maybe some swatch comparisons. I also have a wear test that I did a couple days ago, so we're doing all of that today. So to start off, the Dior Forever Natural Velvet Transfer Proof Compact Foundation. 90% natural origin ingredients. Interesting. This retails at 60 US plus tax. It's available through the Dior Beauty website or Sephora. I ordered mine through Sephora. And this comes in 16 shades. The shade range for Dior typically is much larger, but we're gonna go ahead and talk about the shades in a minute here. I picked up the shade 3N. 3N neutral is described as medium skin with neutral beige undertones. So if you look at the websites, you can go ahead and sort of figure out what shade to get based off of the description here. Dior Forever Natural Velvet is Dior's first transfer proof compact matte foundation with 24 hours of wear composed of 90% natural ingredients. Uh, natural origin ingredients. So they are really big into transfer proof. Dior is really all about the transfer proof recently. So this is a matte powder foundation. If you had told me I would like this or I would enjoy testing out matte powder foundations two years ago, I would not have believed you. It's ultra soft and light. It brings a naturally matte perfection to the complexion with a fine and creamy texture that lets the skin breathe while offering a comfortable feel that lasts all day. It's high coverage, corrects blemishes, smooths, and evens out the complexion. Concentrated in floral care, it improves the quality of the skin day after day. Its formula contains iris extract with protective properties, rose extract to refine the pores, and wild pansy extract to help preserve hydration and improve the sensation of comfort, which is interesting because matte powder sounds really drying. I have um, dehydrated dry skin, and so I definitely want ingredients that are going to add moisture and hydration and comfort. And lastly, this compact here is refillable. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. So this is just the box that it comes in. When you purchase your compact, this is what it looks like. It says on the back here, oh, it was upside down, sorry. But on the back here, it has the shade with the number. So when you want to go get a refill, bring your compact with you and they can actually go ahead and refill just the foundation. So this is what the compact looks like here. You have your foundation, 3N neutral, and on this side here, it comes with a sponge tip applicator. Now let's go ahead and talk about the sponge because at first I thought a normal sponge, we've seen these before, but there are actually two sides and you can really feel it. So one side is very, very velvety, very soft, this is the side that you use to pick up a product. And then the other side feels more like a traditional sponge. And this is the side you use to blend. Those are the instructions. However, you can go ahead and use a brush instead if you prefer. I'm gonna go ahead and put the ingredient list up here. So feel free to pause to go ahead and read off uh, the ingredient list here. Talking about the formula here, it says that it's a new generation of powder that is light as air and as soft as velvet that helps keep the skin comfortable all day, a powder that melts into the skin, offering unprecedented weightless sensation. That's what I look for in foundation or any complexion product, weightless, melts into the skin, like my skin, that sort of thing. So the reason that I went with 3N here Let's just give you a close-up of this one again is because i have a face powder from dior from their backstage collection that's also called 3n it's this one here the backstage like face and body it's um a matte 
powder, but it's really great. And this one is called 3N. So that's how I decided to go with 3N here. But I'll go ahead and do like just a comparison of these two here because the 3N looks a bit different. Obviously this powder has been well loved. You can see it's um, not, I haven't hit pan, but it's been well loved. And the 3N in the powder looks darker. I don't know if that translates on camera, but in person it definitely looks a bit darker. So I'll go ahead and provide a photo here of what 3N and 4N look like. I, I bought it online, but I think if I had known, maybe I would have gone with 4N. But the thing is, the models for 3N and 4N look very different. So the 4N model looks much deeper than me, so that's why I went with 3N. However, if you get a foundation that's a scotch too light for you, there's always bronzer and blush that does help bring color to your complexion. So there's always that. Comparing these two swatches, I find that the bottom swatch, that's the backstage powder, it looks warmer, more golden. However, the new velvet foundation looks more neutral, which makes sense because it is described as having beige neutral undertones. So let's go ahead and do an application here. I have my skincare done. I have sunscreen. I didn't put on a primer because I just want to like test and show this foundation in its natural state, although I am becoming a primer girl. In the wear test, I also didn't wear a primer or a powder, just the foundation and concealer and blush, that sort of thing. With the velvety side, we dip into the powder here, say goodbye to our beautiful logo. Actually, it's sustained its shape. So this is, well, this is what it looks like. I tried it also, so you apply it with one side and then you're supposed to blend with the other. This will definitely help control how much foundation you apply on your face because let's say you just dip with one side and blend. Every time you dip in or every time you blend, you're just going to keep adding more product and more coverage. So it makes sense to maybe swap sponges, swap sides, that sort of thing. Also, what I like to do is use the sponge tip applicator that came in the compact to apply the product. And then I go into this BK Beauty brush. It's the 106. I think this is a foundation brush or a powder brush. I just like to diffuse it like this. And I don't know why, but I think a few days ago when I tested out the foundation, I thought it was way too light for me, but now I think it actually is the right color. So you can use the sponge, but I feel like I prefer going in with the brush. I just like the finish more. And when I tested another powder foundation a few weeks ago or a few months ago, I also preferred using a powder brush here. I don't know. I suppose if you're traveling and if you wanted to keep things really light and compact, you could go ahead and keep using the sponge, but I prefer the brush. What's interesting is that the description says that this is high coverage, but it doesn't say full coverage, which is true because this offers a nice coverage, but it's not full coverage. I would say it's a good medium, maybe a light. I think the sponge directly offers more coverage. Like if you wanted this to be more covering, just go in with a sponge. I think that's why I like the brush because it just diffuses it. And now that I look at this foundation, I think the 3N is perfect for me. It's a great shade. I don't know what I was thinking the other day, but no, this is definitely the right shade for me. So I've gone over a couple of times with the powder here. I think if you really want to have high coverage, you're going to have to go in with the sponge and just sort of like roll in place wherever you want to correct. You can go in with a concealer corrector as well, but I think this is what I would wear it as. Like this is just like my comfort level, how I would enjoy it. So let me just go ahead and add a bit of concealer and blush just to show you also how this is going to look as a complete look. This is the Forever Skin Corrector, Forever Skin Correct in 2WP. 
It's like a nice peachy color. I'm going to apply this on camera so you can see how this cooperates with other products. And then the blush here is Poison, Poison Matte. It's just like a really nice berry color. I've been wearing this one a lot recently, just sort of like rediscovered it. And I was sort of going for like a deep cranberry red fall eye look. So I think this works as a good blush with this eyeshadow here. This is the Rouge Trafalgar eyeshadow palette from Dior as well. For the lips, I did a bit of a concoction. I went into Forever Grace, and then I used this Givenchy Black Pink Liquid Lip Balm just to create this look here. So let's go ahead and examine this foundation here. Now, it says that it's a naturally matte foundation finish. I believe that. It has the word velvet in the description, natural velvet. And I do think that it has a soft, velvet matte finish like it's not this hard matte where everything looks dry looks cakey looks heavy like looks heavy if you look at my chin if you look at like my cheeks my complexion there is luminosity it's not dry it doesn't look matte in like a dehydrated type of way it looks luminous and it looks very healthy and natural like obviously i am wearing makeup but it's not it doesn't look like makeup it looks very light you're still going to see little blemishes little imperfections things like that so it's claim that it's breathable feels like skin actually feels right it doesn't feel dry it doesn't feel tight it does look very luminous but it is actually pretty light coverage it's not this full coverage matte foundation i would say it's a medium maybe more towards light medium you could build this up more if you wanted to but you could also sheer it out it's very interesting because the only other uh, powder foundation that i have is from bare minerals and this one is a high coverage matte foundation i would say that this new velvet foundation is very natural and breathable and wears natural and breathable throughout the day. I'll go ahead and include the wear tests here. I did two wear tests. I did one like four or five hours after wear, so after lunch, and it really looked the exact same at this point here. There was some luminosity. So in the uh, wear test, I'm wearing just the powder with some blush and I think a bit of bronzer, but there's no primer, no highlighter, no setting powder. And you can see that I am starting to have a little bit of shine on my forehead, maybe around the cheeks as well, but there's no cakiness, there's no building up, there's no like, you know, sometimes it settles into the fine lines and you can just sort of see it. There's none of that whatsoever. And then this wear test here is at 12 hours, so at the end of the day, uh, I would say that the biggest takeaway I noticed is that my forehead did have some shine to it. However, like I stated, I am not wearing any setting powder, anything like that. So if you have more oily skin, I definitely would put a more mattifying powder wherever you might get oil, but the foundation looks gorgeous. Like it looks beautiful, it looks velvety, it looks luminous, it looks really natural in a great way. Like it just held up beautifully. There is just more shine peeking through. So yeah, just keep that in mind. But yeah, it wore really, really nicely. It just like didn't transfer, didn't break down, didn't evaporate into thin hair. It just really, really stayed, pla stayed in place. Let me go ahead and do a swatch here of the Bare Minerals uh, full coverage matte foundation that I mentioned earlier. This is a side-by-side -side of the two compacts here. These are the only two powder uh, foundations that I own currently. But now that I know I enjoy these, I might go ahead and start adventuring into more. Let me go ahead and do a swatch uh, on my hand here. This shade here is Light 25 Neutral. So here we have the new Dior Velvet, the Backstage Powder, and the Bare Pro uh, Bare Minerals Full Coverage Foundation. If I'm going to compare the two uh, 
compact powder foundations here, I would say that the Bare Minerals is way higher coverage. It is technically a full coverage foundation and you can see it, It's it just covers way more. I do really enjoy the Bare Minerals foundation, like I was shocked by how much I enjoy it, but I also really enjoy this, like this is not full coverage. I know it says, it didn't say full coverage, but it said some sort of interesting verbiage instead. It says it's high coverage, which is just like a sneaky way of saying it's not technically full coverage, but I don't care. I don't really need full coverage. I find that it smooths out and also blurs at the same time. Like I said, I'm not wearing any powder like on top of this or in the videos, like the wear test, but I find that this velvet compact really just blurs out pores, any texture. There's no, like it doesn't pick up on texture or anything like that. Like it really offers like a blur, smooth coverage at the same time. And this is great also if you're on the go and want like to spot correct, to just like fix anything, like this is really great. I just blew my nose off camera here, gross, but I just wanted to show you that it is transfer proof in the sense because you don't see like redness around my nose or where the tissue went, like it stays in place. And I think one nice thing about it being more medium coverage than full coverage is that when you do want to do a touch up during the day, you're not adding that much more. Like it's not, it doesn't look fake, it doesn't look cakey or heavy. So because it's not super full coverage. When you do a touch up, if you're trying to just like maybe correct some texture, some pores, if you want to just add a bit of blurring to your makeup look, it's going to be light and it is breathable. Like I'm shook, who is this woman who stands before you talking about the various powder foundations that she enjoys? Like if you had told me I would enjoy this, I would not believe you, but there is something in the ingredient list, there is something in the skincare component of this powder foundation that's just, it's really nice and it's its so natural. I'm really gravitating more towards matte foundations now because I find they tend to look more natural than the very luminous glowy ones, like this soft velvet. It, this is really what this is, like a soft velvet, very luminous, very healthy, lit from within. It's just, it's very lovely. So that is my review. One more thing. Let me see if there's a scent. No, I mean, there's like a cosmetic scent, but there's no perfume. I don't smell perfume. I don't smell fragrance. Whenever I do reviews, I try to think of like, what is every single question you would ask me <laughs> if I was still working at the counter? And I think I've answered all of them, but yeah. And I included the ingredient list. So if you have allergies or anything, make sure to peruse that before you go ahead and purchase it, but it's great. It's Ali approved. I really like it. I just, I can't get over how beautiful it is. Like I don't have any highlighter on. I don't have any like luminous uh, primers, anything like that. Just this powder foundation here. It's really lovely, very velvety, smooth, breathable, all that good stuff. So anyway, I think that's it for today's video. Let me know what you think. Have you tried this Velvet Compact from Dior? I think they used to have other like compact uh, foundations before, but I think this is just like a new formulation. We've seen it with their eyeshadows and they're just sort of revamping a lot of products. So if you enjoy this matte compact foundation, let us know in the comments. If you don't like it, let us know in the comments as well. I hope this was helpful and informative. Let me know what else you would like me to review in the near future. I have some other Dior makeup that I will be talking about very shortly. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, I recommend that you do so. And hitting your notifications does make a difference because you'll have a notification when I post more content. So I think that's all I have for you guys for today. So thank you all so much for stopping by. Hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.